Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody and today I'm going to be talking about groups in FS economy, uh, how to find and join groups and also how to create a group and manage your group. Uh, so before we get into that though, thank you so much for all your support recently, it's been really really fantastic. Uh, also uh, thank you for all the comments and interaction that uh, have been going on, I try to answer it as many as I can. Uh, also thanks for the constant reminder that I don't have to right click and uh, open a new tab, I can push a middle mouse button. <laughs> that was quite handy, uh, I will probably forget so if you get tilted by that, apologies in advance, it's just a habit. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you once again, the support's been really fantastic. Uh, so uh, let's get into groups. Okay, so first thing uh, we're going to cover off is how to find and join groups and there's really two ways you can do that. Uh, we're here on the FS Economy Game World page and to find a group you can just go up to the top there uh, and you can just go all groups and here we go you just got a massive list here in alphabetical order of all the groups that are available and so you can check out the little description here and if you're keen to join you can just go boom join it uh, confirms uh, whether you want to join or not so if you know the name um, of the group you'd like to join then you can um, obviously go through and find it there. Uh, and it could be a little bit of scrolling there are quite a number of groups in there and see cheeky people put exclamation marks in there so their groups are at the top so a good way to do that so if they've got a join button beside them means you can join if they don't it means you can't pretty straightforward the other way you can join a group is you need to go into the community site part of the site uh, so you go to FE form look at this I'm clicking the middle mouse button guys Woo! unbelievable Hey everybody, just a quick edit that I've put in here after I did this video and that's that this won't actually join you to the group, this part of the site won't join you to the group so you can do flights and all that sort of stuff. Uh, you need to join up in the game world site to actually have access to assignments um, and the group aircraft and all that sort of stuff. This just joins you to the community part of the, uh, of the group so apologies uh, for that but uh, hopefully that clarifies things. Uh, and you just go to community and uh, here goes all the uh, groups right down here. So this is only, they're only going to be in here if people have set them up in here. Uh, so uh, as you can see we've got flying groups uh, which we'll have a quick look at. But then you've got the non-flying business ventures. So if you wanted to find someone who perhaps leases aircraft or does some other stuff to help out members it's in there. Third party tools are in there too in member groups. So if we go to FSC flying groups for example uh, and we open it up. There's just a big list. Oh, it's actually there's usually a massive list, but I've got the I've already searched for RD in here and it's kept it. So if we just there we go, we'll go like that, boom. And so you've got all the different uh, airlines that are available, and that's only if they've set it up in this part of the site though. So just be aware of that. But let's go into RD because I was just trying it out before to make sure that. Um, it was working okay, which it is. Uh, if you wanted to join RD, for example, you'd, uh, that would be a join button on the top right hand corner, so you just do that. So once you join in a group, there's a couple of ways you can communicate with other pilots, and I'll talk through uh, a couple of those. In this part of the site, the community part of the site, um, it actually has a, a, a it actually um, mirrors what's in the main forum. So as you can see here, it's got all the forum topics here under RD. And if I go to the index of the normal forum, so this is just the main forum, if you scroll down to FEC flying groups, any group that you have joined, uh, they'll have their own section there that you can talk to each other. So look, MFSS will get there eventually, all the topics right there, and as you can see, they're mirrored in the community site too. So just be aware of that. Also the wall, which I'd totally forgotten about, is like a Facebook wall, you can put a quick uh, little um, memo in here, a little note to say hello and sorry Walt and Stick Death, uh, I only found it again today when I was looking through this so I was a bad uh, manager of my of my group, uh, but hi to you two guys, a big shout out, thanks for joining. Uh, but it's a good way to just quickly, uh, uh, quickly uh, say hello or put little notes in here so uh, to all the members in the group. Uh, you can also set up events and um, invite people, all that sort of stuff. So it's actually quite a good little interactive site to um, talk with your fellow pilots in the group. So there goes how to join and um, you know how to interact with other pilots in your groups. Let's get on to how to create a group. So we're back into the main site up the top here. And anyone can open a group by the way. So you can just go ahead and like I say, one of the main features of it is that you will get your own bank account which is really handy and I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, so to, to uh, create a group just go to my groups 
If you're like me, I've already got the one that uh, I own in there. Uh, it will show any other groups you're a part of. And so you just go new group and you'll be presented with this screen right here. So what you need to do is put the name of your group in here. So let's just call it KM uh, YouTube group. I will delete this later, so this won't exist by the way. Uh, the comment is, uh, if we go back into groups, uh, that's just this comment here. So talking about you know a quick description of uh, what your group's all about, and that's what people will see on that page there. So you just go, um, a nice group, how about that, eh? Amazing. Uh, and the default pilot fee, so this is an important part of setting up your group, and you can adjust it uh, whenever you like. So what this is saying is what percentage of the profit of the flight goes to the pilot, and what percentage of the profit of the flight goes to the group, because that's how groups sort of pull together. Uh, they clip the ticket, so to speak, of all the flights that their members fly, and then they can start building their bank balance from there. Um, so for example, at the moment in Art Air, we're at 60%, some are at 50%, so the pilot gets 50%, or the group get, uh, sorry, the, the pilot gets 60% in our, in our case. Uh, some go right up to 80%. But if you've got a group, you want to make sure that the income is enough to at least cover the operational costs of the flight. Um, and I'll show you why. So if we go to Logs, Art Air, um, and let's just uh, let's go to a flight that I flew, uh, Mesa Otago. So if I go to this flight right here, the benefit for group members is that the group pays all the operational costs of the flight out of their cut of the profit, if that makes sense. So in our group here, as you can see here, 7930, oh, it always does that, 7930 is the total revenue, but um, the pilot still got 4760. So if we go to our calculator, I'll bring it over here, and we go 7930, uh, times 0.6 because it's 60 percent 4758 so yeah, it's been rounded up there um, so as you can see the pilot got 60 percent of the income but uh, out of the uh, out of the group share all these expenses the fuel the ground crew free the booking fee all that stuff came out of their share before it got um, paid to the group so um, it's, it's, that's what groups are great at doing. They're great at you know covering all the costs of your flight, and then you get to you know you get a nice little um, uh, amount at the end of it, obviously. So that's a good advantage. But anyway, so in here you can do sixty percent, do whatever you want. You just got to make sure that um, it's uh, enough to cover those operational costs, or else the group will lose money. Uh, rental ban um, list is you can just ban people from renting your aircraft. So we won't go too much into that. Uh, make joining group public, so that means that on that, uh, I haven't got it open anymore, on that uh, group page, uh, or group page, that this join button will be uh, active, and then show group and group overview, same deal, so that group overview right here, your name will be listed in there, so we go yes, yes, and I go update, and then here we go, on my list of groups here, I have got YouTube, uh, K KM YouTube group, a nice group, and so we go edit, and I can edit all the details if I wanted to. Um, I can transfer the ownership to someone else. So for example, if you decide to leave FEC or you wanna sell your group to somebody, you can do that. Um, and then obviously you can delete the group. Uh, so <clears throat> the great thing about groups um, is once you've got them all set up, it's uh, you do need to go in here, by the way, as I mentioned, FEC flying groups and um, you will need to go new group and set this part of the site up if you want to have a community site available so you've got to go in and do that yourself just be aware of that otherwise it will just show in this part here so uh, like I said if we take a quick look at um, KM if we go up to banking sorry if I got to banking as you can see I've got a breakdown of all my money I haven't got a heck of a lot of money as you can see um, so my personal dollars up here art air bank account but KM YouTube group I've got nothing in there so what I did in Ard Air is um, I basically used all my individual money to buy um, aircraft and stuff, and then I transferred ownership across to Ard Air. Or I can go from Mesa Targo, I could say $500. Oh, sorry, two account might help. You can go Ard Air, it will find it. You go like that, and you could say 500 And that's a nice, easy way that you can transfer money from your personal account to the group account if you want to do it that way. There we go, it's increased by 500 and my personal cash has decreased by 500. So uh, if you're looking to buy aircraft you want, and you want to pull money together, that's one way of doing it. Um, and so uh, the other thing you need to know though is your personal bank account earns interest every month, but your group bank account does not earn interest every month. 
So that's just one thing to be aware of too. But as you see, that's, it's a pretty much as simple as that. Um, as time goes by, um, you go groups, um, you, let's go through these. Uh, my groups is uh, the just showing you which groups you've got available at the moment. All groups is, as we know, we've been in there. Assignments, so we're going to add here. here. So as assignments come up and are available, um, particularly if you're controlling the gate, so either you own the FBO and the passenger terminals or you're renting the passenger terminals, which we are uh, in uh, Canada here for Invermere and Golden, we own it all. So, and we've got the jobs to automatically be sent uh, to the group pool. That means they're not made public, so other people can't grab them. Also here, um, we've rented NZCH, which is Christchurch, and NZ Mount Cook. So I've got those set for all of those to go in the group. And that way, it's, uh, these jobs are only available for group members, so they can go in and grab them um, and use our aircraft and are good to go. Um, now, if other people find some good green jobs around the place, they can reserve them for the group too and put them into here and people can fly them. So it's a good way to put a nice little pool of green jobs together and fly them. Uh, the other thing you can do is, um, so that's the assignments, that's great. Uh, pay group, so uh, if we went to, uh, if I wanted to make, oh, this is a, an easy way to, if I wanted to pay money to RDR, I could just go in here and go 500 bucks, boom, we go pay, done. If we go up to banking, there we go, they're up over 80, I've put another 500 in there. So that's how to do that. Um, and memberships, uh, so this one here, uh, sorry if your name's on the list, but you're in, uh, there we go. I've just accepted them as a member. So anyone who wants to be in the group, um, you'll get an email to your whatever email you've got attached to this group to say there's a new request in there. You go in there and you just go accept as member and away you go. Uh, you can also change people to change uh, to staff members and you can delete members if they don't uh, if they no longer want to fly for the group or they haven't flown for ages or something like that. So you can manage all your staff members uh, really easily in this part. So hopefully that all makes sense. Um, so the other parts of the website that will be affected by groups, if I go up to aircraft and I click on just aircraft, this will just show my personal aircraft. And as you can see, I've got a Cessna 152 under my name. It's got an L beside it because I've actually leased it to the group. So if I go up to aircraft, add air, it's gonna show all the aircraft that we've currently got available for group for the group and so you've got them all here there goes my 152 we've got a bunch of other ones that um, some of the members have kindly um, have kindly leased to the to the group uh, the great news about having aircraft that are leased to the group um, or that the group owns is that obviously they pay no rental so that's a that's a cost that gets saved when um, when flights are completed so uh, you can build up a big fleet we've got mainly smaller aircraft here um, but you know some fleets have got like 30 or 40 aircraft in here I mean obviously you've got to make sure you've got money in the bank to cover those uh, aircraft fees the maintenance fees well not maintenance fees but aircraft ownership fees every month uh, you do have to pay maintenance if they break down and stuff like that too uh, what else uh, so purchase the aircraft so when you go in here and let's just say uh, by model let's just choose anything search and if I went into this one here um, purchase for see I can purchase it for any of my groups or for myself so once again you can just put you can go ahead and do that nice and easy if you do purchase it for the group uh, the money will come straight out of the group bank account uh, I think that's pretty much everything um, you remember from my earlier video which I'm managing FBOs and I talked about passenger terminals uh, once again if we go into let's just quickly go into that part um, FBO facilities ARD Air once again these are controlled by ARD Air and so any income comes into ARD Air costs go to ARD Air go to the group you can own passenger terminals and FBOs under your own name if you want to that's fine but obviously I've got those under ARD Air so anything that if that a group can own you'll see the name over to the right hand side when you drop down so there you go you can manage your FBOs purchase them all that sort of stuff so there we go, everybody. I think that covers pretty much everything you need to know about groups. Uh, they're a really fun way of getting together and um, you know working towards uh, buying aircraft and FBOs or just having fun together. Um, you know, you might want to set up a separate Discord channel, for example, which I'm just about to do, by the way, um, which makes it uh, nice and easy for you to communicate while you're out there flying and all that sort of stuff. Otherwise, you've got the um, you know you've got your forums and all that sort of stuff that you can you can use to communicate. So. Yeah, they're a really cool way, um, and quite often what you know people will do is sometimes they'll fly a flight, the odd flight for their group and their own, and sometimes flights just for themselves. It's completely up to you. 
uh, when you go and um, set up a flight, you can um, you can uh, decide uh, whether it's going to be flown for the group or flown just under your own name. What I would say is, you know, the courtesy is that if you do fly, if you use a group's aircraft, you then fly it for the group. I think that's sort of an unwritten rule, rule because uh, obviously they're providing the aircraft for free. Um, so that's probably just one thing that I'd say. Apart from that, uh, you know, it just gives you flexibility to do something a little bit different in the game. Uh, so anyway, if you do have any questions, let me know. I've probably missed something, but I think I've covered the main points. Uh, let me know down in the comments uh, any questions or comments that you do have. Um, I do appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. If you're new, consider subscribing. It costs nothing at all except just a little bit of self-respect. Uh, make sure you smash that like button. And until next time, everybody, take it easy.